Before we get started, we'd like to share a little bit of information about the patient and his previous prosthetic. The patient was from the jungles of Vietnam and had to travel more than a day to get to our Bentray clinic. His original prosthetic was too short and was only getting shorter the more he wore it down. So he melted four clay bricks onto the bottom of his old prosthetic. This made it very heavy and very unstable to walk around in. It's always a good idea to look at the patient's old prosthetic and try to figure out what they like about it and what they don't, so that you have an idea of things to look out for as you make adjustments. The next step is to observe the stump and check for painful areas, ulcers, bony protrusions, fungal infections, or anything else out of the ordinary. On our patient, we observed four bony protrusions, but no other painful areas. Have the patient extend the leg and check to see if they are valgus or varus. Our patient was very valgus. The, the valgus can be caused by bony protrusions, too much space in certain areas, or the wings not being properly flared. A good start to correcting the valgus is to bend out the medial side of the wing. Often you'll need to bend in the lateral side, but this can be done at a later time. then complained that the socket was a little loose around the distal aspect of the stump, so we added some scrap foam to make it more comfortable. As you can see, the valgus is now corrected and we can move on to getting the patient to weight bear.
to find a piece of scrap pylon to do your original limb length test. Add shims under whichever leg is shorter until the patient is comfortable and the aces are level. With limb length corrected and the patient still comfortable, you can now attach the straps. The easiest way to make strap holes is to continue the patella bearing line to each side of the socket, then make a vertical line from the highest point of each wing down to the horizontal line, then make your holes 2 cm posterior to where both lines intersect. Now, have the patient walk and make any corrections for comfort, valgus cervarus, or loose straps. You can see that as our patient walks, his leg is still valgus. To correct this, we added foam on the medial, distal side of his stump and on the lateral wing and cut holes in the foam where the bony protrusions were. We also tightened the medial strap and flared in the lateral wing. Once you and the patient are happy with how the patient walks, get Dr. Vo's approval, make any adjustments he requires, and begin cosmetics.